Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today is the pretty much the end of this reaction chamber tutorial. But don't worry, as you can see over there, there will be a part three that should be out tomorrow. But anyway, before we get to that, here's how you make the wooden gear four sticks, and boom, you got the wooden gear. What you need the wooden gear for is to make the quartz grindstone, which requires two gears. Can you see that recipe again? That doesn't seem right. Quartz grindstone. Yeah! What is that for? There! There we go. Yeah, it's two cobblestone, three certus quartz, three stone, and one wooden gear from any of these mods I'm using, which are Ender IO, Ender Cra and Ender Core. Applied Energistics 2 is actually surprisingly useful for this mod, but as I turn around, as we can see here, now that we have made all of this, we need to make the electrical steel ingot. Now, now we know how to make the stone gear, but we don't know how to make the electrical steel ingot. How do we make the electrical steel ingot? Like so, electrical steel ingot, which is an extremely useful alloy smelter. You get uh, iron ingot, pulverized coal, and silicon. How do you get? How do you get that? You don't, uh, you get per throw, no, we're not doing it that way, we're doing it this way. You get coal, throw it into the pulver, into the quartz grindstone. So let me pull out, I don't think that's what I need. Uh, there we go, now let me look up coal. Hey, coal, alright. So, boom, alright, let me toss that in. And then if you want to know how to make the crank, it is only five sticks. Thought I made that recipe somewhere around here. Uh, no. No. Okay, I'll just show you how to make the crank. Crank. Boom. You need five sticks like that. Anyway. But now that you've made the crank, all you need to do is start clicking it. Uh, with the, you just need to start right clicking as you normally do and it's still going and it should become pulverized coal and that's how you get the pulverized coal and then boom you can take the, uh, let me look it up, electrical steel, electrical steel, uh, right here. Rich requires the alloy smelter, one iron ingot, one coal powder, and one silicon. And here, let me just, there we go. And let me take the silicon, the iron ingot, alloy smelter, toss them all in, take out the fused quartz glass, and boom. Now it should be making the electrical steel ingot, which is essential, which is absolutely key. Without the Yeta wrench, it's impossible. Anyway, uh huh. There we go. Okay, come on. It should be done now. 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 Okay, okay, that's how you get electrical steel. Eh, hey, whoops. No, no. Anyway, there goes a stack of electrical steel. But anyway, up, oh, time set, day. Boom, alright. And then use three electrical steel, one stone gear, and you get the Yeta wrench. And now I will gather up all of these uh, results here, like this. And I will take uh, this. And I will take uh, this. There we go. Okay. So this is how you get basic fluids in. Uh, over here is how you get uh, more complex fluids in, like this red juice stuff. But, hey, we are not, that, that's a tutorial all on its own. And the tutorial for how to do all this stuff will be uploaded tomorrow for that stuff. But anyway, this is how you get, like, liquids like water and lava in. That's the, the tutorial I'm doing for now. Uh, whoops, and uh, there we go. Housing, I forgot the glass. Alright, so, glass... So, tomorrow I will up be uploading the tutorial on how to get the... Let me look it up. Uh, here, let me go to the reaction... Oh, wait, I'm going to show you the reaction chamber anyway. So, boom, 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 boom. 
and boom and what you want to do is you want to take this here and you want to take this so now that we've got this thing and now we want to take out this thing and then we want to put it here to power it up to power it up and boom all right so that should be getting in power pretty quickly yeah it's going fairly fast but here let me show you a technique to make it go even faster there are multiple generators this will make it go so much faster now it's going at pretty much next to ludicrous speed but anyway so now that we've got it all set up like this we take our omnivore place it like this connect it up like this and then we get our liquid of any kind water lava and we get our lava and boom and then we fill her up with any kind of liquid we want take our yetta wrench oh right uh the ah the ah there we go all right so boom 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 this is how you get liquid in with the omnivore and the fluid extraction pipe but you have to click it with the yetta wrench or it won't work and over here is where I show you a bit more how to get like the more complex liquids in. Two more of the complex ones. So this is how you get the basic one. The only liquid I did not figure out was creeper acid. I figured out how to get the um, destabilized redstone and the resonant ender. But I didn't. And I figured out how to get water in here. But I did not figure out creeper acid. Like... Uh, no matter how far I looked into it, there's I couldn't find anything about how to get creeper acid. At all. But anyway, before I start making stuff from here, uh, let me fill this up again, because I need it to be a bit more full. Is you can see here, there's this little risk thing. So, what the risk things tells you is that sometimes things won't go the right way. So, as you can see here, there is a risk of a small explosion and down here there is a risk that it might break the item now when it says by break the item it means like for example if you put a quartz rod and a reaction chamber heat array focused and a, you won't always get a blaze rod in fact most of the time you probably won't even get a blaze rod like more than half the time if your luck is anything like mine so yeah the risks here are essentially random chances of it randomly not working but for me it works almost uh, none of the time now you can also do the, it is still works with water but for now I'm filling it up with lava because the recipe I'm gonna show you in this video requires it to be filled with lava all right here and let me make it go even faster this is too slow for my liking all right boom ha 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 even faster there we go, powering at ludicrous speed. All right, so now we should be able to put that in, and there we go. It'll stop at 40% filled, which is where we want it. And now what we want to do is we want to bring over our, let's see right here, our reaction chamber heat array focus and our quartz rod. And here's how you make the heat array focus. You need two elite circuit boards, one gold wire, two redstone lamps, four steel plates, and then boom, you craft yourself the heat or uh, the heat array focus. And then what you want to do to craft the quartz rod is three quartz. Quite simple. If you're wondering what that's where it's for next episode, next tutorial tomorrow. But for today, this is what we gotta do. So as you can see here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's going. Will it make the will it produce the item? No, it won't. It's gonna break the item, isn't it? Of course. Or cause a small explosion. Please don't. And the risk was there. I it did not craft. It did not make the blaze rod. Because there was a small chance of it not working, and it most of the time doesn't work. Uh, like, you can, like, this is how you make it, use it, power it to get what you want, but it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work. 
because of the risk thing they like to they wanted to throw in. All right. Now this has a risk of a uh, let me go see here. Small medium explosion. Oh, it's gonna explode! It's gonna blow! It's gonna blow! No! Oh no! It's gonna blow! Oh, it blew! <laughs> oh my goodness! Ah! Oh. And it turned the reaction chamber. It blew it up. It destroyed the housing. Most of it. It destroyed the. It destroyed everything. Destroyed the omnivore. Turned. Turned and it exploded a bunch of blocks around it and it turned what was left into gravel. So yeah, that's how you make use and power it and fuel it with water and lava for the reaction chamber. As you can see behind me next episode, I will show you how to fill it with other liquids. But tomorrow, that's when you're going to see it. But anyway, everyone, for now, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you out with the basics. But for ne but here's what we have for next time for next Tech Guns tutorial. I will show you how to get this red liquid and the other blue liquid. But creeper acid, I don't know how to get in. But anyway, everyone, that's